One of the things that we are all very excited for is all the different weapons within Cyberpunk. Because of the huge variation in all the different types of weapons that you can get, plus adding that to the different melee weapons, the cyberware and also the throwables, it means that you can actually design a loadout which fits your playstyle and potentially something that can be completely unstoppable. You could be really really overpowered depending what you actually pick and what you actually want to do. But within this video we are going to be going through some of the most talked about weapons so far. This doesn't necessarily mean that these are going to be the best of the best weapons, but these are the ones that have caught a lot of players' eyes and that they're hoping to put it within their weapon loadout in hopes that it would be something amazing. Now, I'm sure when the game is finally released, whenever that will be, because we're still hoping it will be December the 10th, but at this point, a lot of fans are thinking that it could be delayed again. But whenever the game does come out, these are the weapons that players are hoping to get their hands on. But this list could very much change to be completely something different when Cyberpunk is released. Before I do get into the video though, if you do want to see any more content from me being Cyberpunk when it is released, there is a link in the description down below which will take you over to the Twitch stream. Currently, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but that's be sure to be ramping up to possibly even daily streams or at least five days a week. So if that is of interest to you, which it should be because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff over there, there is a link to the Twitch stream in the description down below. Getting back into the video, within Cyberpunk, there is a huge amount of variation with weapons. There are actually three main different classes. You have power, tech and smart. These weapons can be changed up massively by using different attachments and modifications. And this can make what is a not so good weapon into a completely overpowered weapon. On top of these weapons, you also have the ability to change up your cyberware, throwables and melee weapons. And with all of these categories, with exception from throwables, we are going to be going through the most talked about weapons. But these are just the weapons that I've seen talked about by a number of different players. If your favorite weapon didn't make the list, chances are there will be a completely different list when the game is released. But starting off, we have power weapons. Power weapons are traditional guns with common ammo types, the most similar to contemporary weapons. As an improvement to normal weapons, power weapons can also ricochet bullets off surfaces, allowing you to hit enemies hiding behind cover or walls, or aiming with a power weapon you'll be able to see and trace the bullet ricochet. So this could be a very very good weapon class if you use it correctly. And one of the weapons that have caught a lot of players eyes and was shown in the Tours of Destruction trailer is the shotgun called the Carnage. This shotgun was created by budget arms and even though we have not got any stats for any of the weapons we're looking at this and as it is a power weapon we can see that it could be extremely powerful being able to use a shotgun shell that will be able to bounce off surfaces to get enemies behind cover this is something that your enemies will be terrified of and what makes this even better and probably the reason why it has caught so many players eyes as well is also the skin that is on this weapon you can get different weapon designs based off different different gangs and this one includes the Moxes. And even though they are not by far the biggest game within Cyberpunk, a lot of players have taken to the color theme of what is the Moxes. The other weapon that a lot of players have taken an eye to is the M2067 Defender. This is a weapon that is featured within Cyberpunk 2077. And even though we haven't seen any real gameplay and it hasn't even been part of a trailer, players are looking at this, seeing the size of it. Players think that this is going to be extremely powerful. I'm definitely going to have to agree with that. Comparing this to the Carnage, it hasn't got the nicest weapon skin, but we do know that these could be changed up massively and at the end of the day, we're not buying a weapon just because it looks nice, we're buying it because it's powerful and can take out the enemies that we want to take out. Moving on, we have tech weapons. Tech weapons are unconventional weapons that use electromagnetic power to propel fully metal projectiles at extreme velocities. This penetration effect allows them to punch through cover or walls and hit targets who are not aware they're there. Starting off, we have the Tsunami Nekamata. This is one of the weapons that was shown in the Tools of Destruction trailer. We've seen a little bit of gameplay and also within the Night City Wire, one of the devs did say that this is one of their favorite weapons. And this does look like a very, very powerful and definitely useful weapon within the world of Cyberpunk. This was created by Tsunami Defense Systems. And if you know your Cyberpunk lore, you will know that Tsunami Defense Systems is one of the big three top tier weapon manufacturers in the world for Cyberpunk. So this is a weapon that you do not want to ignore. And because it is part of the tech weapon type, you know there's going to be a lot of power behind it. 
We have seen some footage where it's able to blow heads off, but as part of a tech weapon description, it can also go straight through cover. So it should be very, very fun to take this weapon, use it at range to shoot an enemy and for the other nearby enemies to be alerted, for them to try and get to safety, be behind cover, hide behind walls, and only for this weapon just to go straight through it. Another weapon within the tech weapon class is the DB2 Satara. This weapon was just seen briefly within the Tools of Destruction trailer. I don't believe we've seen any gameplay and I don't believe it was even shown to be used within the trailer. It was literally just an image that popped up. And obviously with these tech weapons being able to fire projectiles at insane velocities and being able to go through cover, a shotgun was definitely going to make the list. This is more of a honorable mention because as said, we haven't really seen too much gameplay and we haven't even got the proper visual here. We've just got the basics of what it looks like all in red. Next up, we have smart weapons, and these are probably the weapons that I'm the most excited for. Smart weapons are weapons that use guided missile technology to track targets in real time. Bullets will curve around walls and barriers to hit your target. These guns can hit somebody who's dodging, running away from you, or even hiding behind cover. Smart weapons are equipped with proper grips and optics to scan and track the movement of enemies. But this means that you can actually be very, very bad at aiming, such as me, and still be able to hit your targets and being able to do really really well the first weapon to talk about is the kang tao g58 dian this is a submachine gun weapon featured in cyberpunk 2077 this weapon is created by kang tao this weapon will allow you to track enemies and all you need to do is just make sure they're in range and just hold the trigger down the weapon will do the rest for you and that will just put endless fire straight into the enemies up until you actually need to reload but with the guided missile technology you really shouldn't have to worry about that by the time that you do need to actually reload this weapon you should have already taken out the enemy that you wanted to take out another weapon that is very similar to this one is the arasaka tki 20 shingen this is also a submachine gun with guided missile technology so you're looking at this being another situation where you just need to aim have the enemy in sight and just hold the trigger down and by the time you do need to reload you should have already killed the enemy if you're looking for some think within this weapon class with a bit more power maybe you don't want to have a submachine gun which you just hold down the trigger maybe you want something that can take out the room with ease then you should look at the smart shotguns one that's already been shown is the kang tao l69 zhu and when looking at this you can see how thick the barrel is on this meaning if you go into a room and there is eight enemies you can target all eight with one press of a trigger it will take all of them out within the exact same second this is a weapon that is super super powerful but i do imagine that it's going to have quite a lengthy reload time these are the weapons out of the three different classes being power weapons tech weapons and smart weapons and these are also the weapons that have been revealed so far but there's still so many other weapons to be revealed and we still haven't even got to legendary weapons which will probably be completely overpowered once we do finally get our hands on them but moving on the next category we have is in cyberware cyberware is broken down into offensive and also defensive but the things that players are talking about the most is more about offensive cyberware and the number one thing and also the thing that's been shown within many many gameplay as well as trailers that have been revealed by cd project red is the mantis blades the arasaka mantis blades is an armed cyberware weapon featured in cyberpunk and even though we have no stats based on the cyberware very similar to the weapons we do know that it's going to be very very fun to use being able to get close and personal with enemies and just slice them apart and with the brutal gameplay system that is within cyberpunk it's just going to be extremely fun to use for players that are wanting to kill their enemies from a distance and not actually have to get close and personal with the mantis blades a lot of players are looking to the cyberware of the projectile launch system this is another bit of cyberware that is being made by arasaka this allows you to fire an explosive projectile from your arm so if you're ever within a situation where there's a group of enemies together maybe you've even run out of ammo for your actual weapons you can always resort to this fire an explosive projectile and take that group of enemies out we saw a very short snippet of gameplay from this in the tours of destruction trailer the problem is as soon as that explosion hit unfortunately cd project red cut the trailer to black so we 
we didn't actually get to see the aftermath of this. But yet again, linking this to the brutal combat system within Cyberpunk 2077, we know that it is going to be absolutely crazy to use to see body parts flying everywhere and you're just walking away with explosions in the background. This is something that a lot of players are looking to use. And this brings us into our final category. And with this category, there's not too many options, but there is one that stands out that a lot of players want to use. And this is the Thermal Katana. This is another weapon that has been manufactured by Arasaka. There's a lot of players that have been telling me how they literally just want this Thermal Katana, and then they want net running capabilities with V, so that they're able to go wherever they want to go, just hacking into different buildings. And their only weapon that they're going to be using is the Thermal Katana. And I think this could lead to extremely fun gameplay. It'll be like you're some sort of cyberpunk hacking ninja. I think that could be extremely fun to have as a character. The other melee weapons can still be used in a very similar way, but they're just not as special as a thermal katana. We're talking about a spiked baseball bat or even just a sledgehammer, which we have seen in many other games before. I'm also curious, and this is mainly for me, what it would actually be like if I did have mantis blades and also a thermal katana. Would there be any point in me using mantis blades if thermal katana did more damage or vice versa? Or is it something that I can switch between to just have completely epic gameplay? So this will be something that I'll be trying out. But anyway, those are some of the most talked about weapons as well as cyberware that I've seen so far for cyberpunk 2077 these are the weapons that have been shown so far and there are so many more so don't actually count this as the best weapons within cyberpunk we haven't even touched on legendary weapons because cd project red haven't even revealed anything about them yet that's something that we're gonna have to wait for when cyberpunk is finally released these are just out of the weapons that have been shown so far what weapons are players excited to use? If you do want to see me using some of these weapons within Cyberpunk, as said, there are quite a few different things that I want to test, which I've mentioned throughout the video. Then there is a link in the description down below, which will take you over to the Twitch stream. And hopefully when Cyberpunk is released, I'll be able to play that on the PlayStation 5. And we're just going to be going through absolutely everything. If you are interested in that, as said, link is in the description down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see it.